Hi guys, it's Robin Liddy Biker. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about what I did to get better control and better maneuverability out of both of my bikes when I got them. Ow. Both of my bikes, my Fat Boy and my Road King, are big, heavy cruisers. And when I first got them both, I struggled to control them at stops and in slow maneuvers and even in cornering. And my first thought was, oh, I, I can't do this. Or, and then the next one was, oh, I'm gonna have to lower the bike. Well, that wasn't the solution. The solution was changing out both of the seats from the standard seats to a reach seat. Makes all the difference in the world, ladies. Most seats, whether they're stock or whether they're a slightly different design, most seats, especially for these big cruisers, are designed for taller people, 5'9", 5'10", and larger. So they're designed to sit the rider further back and they're slightly wider to accommodate their frames. Well, for us ladies, now I'm five. Five, six, and so as a woman, I'm fairly tall, but that was still even, I'm even still too short to handle these bikes with a stock seat. So I did the research and I found out, and I bought the mine of Harley Davidson, and Harley Davidson does design seats specifically for smaller riders. They have a reach seat, and in some cases, a super reach seat. And both of those are designed to take the rider down to bring the seat in a little bit, especially close to the tank, and then move us forward so that we're sitting in the proper position for people of our stature. So in the next few clips, I'm gonna show you exactly the difference on both my Fat Boy and my Road King. Check it out. All right guys, this here is Bob. He's a 2002 Fat Boy. He was my first bike. Yes, going from those Harley Davidson five, Street 500s, which are the training bikes, to this guy was a huge step up. And when I first got him, he had a Mustang seat. And um, the difference is here, it's a very wide seat, especially even here at the tongue, and it's meant to have you sit very far back. So, when I stand him up, I can touch, but my legs are straight. And so when I start to push back, I can only really use the balls of my feet. So if you're trying to back out of a parking spot or something of that nature, or you're trying to place your feet down on a cambered road, this can be a, a little bit scary. The other thing is, is when it puts you in the riding position, I ride about here, which is leaving quite a bit of room back here between the back of the seat and my, and my glutes. So when I would, and he has a lot of very low end torque. So coming off of the stop, I would slide back and then I would have to pull forward. There again, something that, okay, you can do it, but it does make you feel really good. So I always felt like I was riding on the bike and not with the bike. So that's why I, was, I started doing some research and I found out about the reach seats. So let me put the reach seat on and let me show you the difference in how I sit and how I can handle the bike. All right guys, so I've already taken the Mustang seat off and this is my reach seat. If you'll already notice, it's much shorter from the back or where the back of the rider position is to the tank, which, is, which helps whenever you sit in the rider position, it puts the support here at your low back, which on a longer haul is much, much more comfortable. So. Let me tighten them up, tighten this up. It's really that easy. So from here, whenever I step into my reach seat, already you can see I'm touching here at the back, which allows me, and if you see whenever I stand her up, or stand him up, not only my flat foot, but my knees are bent. Which gives me much, much more control whenever I'm needing to maneuver him, especially in and out of a parking space. Uh, there are times when we have to duck walk. Um, it just gives you a lot more control and a lot more connection to the ground. So that 725 pounds suddenly becomes something that you can find its natural balance point 
and you can handle the black. So then a few, um, few months ago, I went ahead because this guy was starting to struggle with some of the hills here in the central coast of California. So I invested in a new bike. Let me pull her in and show you. So this is my girl Scarlett. She is a Harley Davidson Road King. Now coming stock like she is, she weighs in right at about 830 pounds. I just got a few new parts in that I'm going to add a sissy bar and luggage rack, which that will be in my next video, which adding that to a bumper up closer to about 400, or 840 pounds. This is a lot of weight. Currently, she has on her a stock seat. Let me show you what this looks like. Now, the stock seat, there again, is designed for the majority of the people that buy this size bike, which are taller men, 5'10 to about 6'2. So it's a fairly wide seat, and it also is set fairly far back from the, the gas tank. So, uh, so I'm gonna stand her up. There again, I can touch, but my leg is fairly long because primarily because it's pushing me out, especially here up high on my inner thigh. And when I sit back into the riding position, which is this is about roughly where I am, there's a lot of space right here. So I'm constantly sliding forward and back on the seat, which there again makes me feel like I'm riding on the motorcycle instead of with her. So I am so excited because yesterday, my drop reach seat, or my super reach seat, from Harley Davidson came in. Let me go grab it and I'll, we'll put it on and I'll show you the difference. All right, ladies. So, um, if you've never changed out a seat before, they're super, super easy. It takes generally one to three screws, depending on if it has a safety strap on it or if it has a sissy bar. So, where my fat boy had a hex head adjustment that I used a, a hex wrench, this one just took a standard Phillips screwdriver. So, Check, do a little research, find out the standard tools that you're gonna need and invest in the ones that you're gonna use for, on a regular basis. So I went ahead and all I've done so far is just changed out the seat itself. And this is my super reach seat. Now they do have a reach seat for the touring models, but that one just didn't quite fit me. Where the super reach sets a little bit more than an inch lower it's about an inch more narrow here at the, at the gas tank at the top, and it's pushed about two to two and a half inches further forward. So it's gonna allow me to really sit down into the saddle and become part of the bike. Let me show you. Hey guys, it's been about a week now, and I have been able to take my girl Scarlet out for a couple of rides, like three rides now with the new seat on her, and I love it. I was so excited when it first came in to put it on, but the difference in riding her in a stock seat and then riding on her with my super reach seat is completely different. It's night and day. It's like two, two different, completely different bikes because I was really struggling whenever I was with the stock seat. In slow maneuvers, I never felt in control of the bike. Even coming to a stop at a stop sign or a stop light, I always felt as if the bike was trying to tip to the right. What I discovered was because of, like on my, my husband's Road King with a stock seat, without, with this not being right against my back, I kept sliding. So whenever I would pull in on the brake, it would tend to turn. We all know you turn the front wheel, you're going down. So having the super reach seat on has made all the difference in the world because with, as you can tell, and I wanted to set these side by side so you could really see the difference. This is a much different shape to the seat. It not only has got given me much better control because I'm not trying to squeeze in with just my inner thighs and use my upper body to move the bike. I can push against the back of the seat. When I'm in a, in a maneuvering situation, a slow speed maneuver or coming to a stop, I'm seated, seated in the saddle and I feel confident and secure so whenever I'm braking, I can brake evenly. And don't even get me started on the corners because now he can't keep up with me and it's so much fun. So this is the solution, ladies. If you're struggling to control, especially your, these larger bikes, check into seeing if your manufacturer
designs a seat for a smaller stature rider. And to my knowledge, every manufacturer does. So do the research, check it out. If that's what's gonna, if that's what you need, it make the investment. It's so much cheaper than trying to lower your bike. So with that being said, guys, get out and ride. Have fun, be safe, and see you next time.